Hey, fearless souls. It's your girl, Dr. D, the courage catalyst. And honey, I'm that hand on your back that pushes you out of your comfort zone all the way into your courage zone. And yes, welcome to another episode of Fearless Friday. Today, yes, today, Fearless Friday is the day that we get a chance to look fear in the face and conquer it. And so today is no different. I thought we would talk about the power of decisiveness. Yes, the power of being able to decide to make decisions. Now, I'm calling myself to the carpet. I'm calling all of you to the carpet with me because I know that I have in my life's journey have struggled sometimes with making decisions and standing on those decisions. Sometimes I've been held captive by fear of making that decision because I didn't have all of the all of the information. Um, I was afraid of what would happen when I would make that decision. I was just literally in a space where the decision I had to make, I've never been in before, right? I've never been in that, in that situation, but I was the one that had to make that decision regardless. And I didn't have enough time to make it. And so that might be your story. I know it was certainly my story. And sometimes it's still my story, if we're completely honest, right? Of having to make decisions. And so I will say this is that it takes courage to make decisions and to stick with it. First of all, courage is a decision. <laughs> Just deciding to be courageous in the moment is a decision, right? So you've made one when you have to literally get over the fear. Courage is a decision. And so when you think about making choices and, and decisions in your life, you, you really have to stand in those decisions that you make, even if you don't feel comfortable with them. Life often rewards us when we make choices with confidence. So I want to give us three tips to help guide your way through making some pretty important decisions in your life. And sometimes those decisions might seem small to other people, but it's huge to you. And so I want to share some of the things that I am doing to make those decisions, the things that I've had to really just, I mean, anchor into. And I, I want to give those to you. And then I would love for you to comment um, in the chat or However, connect with me. I would love to see some of the ways or things that you use, tips that you use to help you make decisions because it's sharing is caring, right? Sharing is caring. But I will say, you know, being a, uh, you know, a professional and in my space of business and being a single mom and single woman, you know, making decisions, sometimes it's all on me to make those decisions. And I know that that is hard. Hard, right? It's a hard place to be for a lot of us having to make those choices, especially when you don't either have, um, again, all the information or maybe community around you to make those decisions. But I definitely tap into those things when I have them. So the first thing, though, that I will tell you that helps me to make those decisions um, when I am in that space of feeling like, I, I really got to get through this, is I have to trust my instincts. Yes. Trusting my instincts is super important. I've had to learn that along the way because I didn't trust my instincts. I didn't. I, I really thought, Ooh, I'm, if I make this decision, it is this is not a good decision. <laughs> I need some help to make those decisions, especially when I was younger. I needed to, to really feel um, like someone else was helping me to make those choices because I didn't trust my own voice. So I just want to say that to you is trust your instincts. Your intuition is a powerful guide. You know, that little small voice that is leading you to make those decisions. And when you're faced with a decision, listen to your inner voice, listen to it, trust it. It's really your subconscious, right? Your subconscious mind processing all of that information that you have, or, or maybe even lack thereof, but it's still trying to process. So trust it and make decisions with confidence. For me, trusting my instincts, I literally have to consult the one, <laughs> the creator for me to help me to make those decisions as well. I literally need 
to be in prayer and meditation when I'm trying to make some hard decisions. But trust your instincts. Sometimes those in instincts literally will lead you to the right choices. Now, number two, I will say is this. Now, I'm talking to myself again. <laughs> it's about embracing imperfection. And this is where I have struggled and still sometimes struggle with really embracing imperfection because I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want my decision to lead to a mistake. That's a lot of us. So understand that not every decision will be perfect. It's just not. Not every decision is going to be perfect. There's beauty in imperfection. And sometimes the most valuable lessons, I could say that's true for me, come from what I perceived as a mistake. Let me say that again. The most valuable lessons that come from what we perceive or what you perceived as a mistake. Some of those are the most valuable things that you could have ever learned. So I want you to think about that. It doesn't have to be perfect when you make a decision and you're not always gonna get it right, but you still need to decide. And then once you decide and you see what happens, you deal with it then, right? But you still have to make a decision and it doesn't have to be perfect. The last thing I will say is to set clear intentions. Yes, set clear intentions. So when you're thinking about that decision that you have to make before making that choice, be clear about what your intentions are, about your goals, what you want. What do you want to achieve? What do you want to achieve by making that decision? If you're not clear, then you're going to feel stuck. It's not going to feel good at all. I mean, it's already uncomfortable to make the decision, but why are you making it? What do you want to achieve by making that choice? Clarity is key. It's key, 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 key. <laughs> so this clarity that you achieve it by answering those questions for yourself will help you to make decisions, right? It'll help it to it will help you to make them easier and help you stay focused on your path and your goals. So I'll repeat those three things that I said to you is trust your instincts, trust your instincts, embrace imperfection, set clear intentions. It is powerful when we are decisive. It really is. And it's freeing when we make decisions. I don't know about you, but I feel freer when I make decisions, when I'm actually able to actually make it, <laughs> make that decision. In a world full of options, the ability to make choices, being decisive is a superpower. It really is. It propels us forward, builds our confidence, and really shapes our courageous path. So I hope that you will embrace your power to make decisions, the power of decisiveness. And share a moment with us when your decision-making transformed your life or a decision that you were feeling fearful over that you actually made. Share it with us. I'd love to hear it. And if you'd like a little bit more of a push of moving from comfort to courage, I encourage you, my friend, to go out and grab my From Comfort to Courage devotional and journal. And it's in included in there are video series that you'll hear me talking directly to you, just like I'm talking to you now. So keep it locked here. Stay connected with me. I'm super excited to continue this journey of helping you to move out of your comfort zone into your courage zone. Check me out on all of my social, all on my podcast, all the things. Check me out. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.